Cardano's manga project, Ada Ninjas, has a huge month ahead of them with a bunch of big packaged announcements and their season 3 drop happening. Stick around to find out what that's about and my thoughts on the matter. And if you thought that I was gonna do the whole video with this in my shirt, you were wrong. Welcome Lake Game Crypto, my name is Josh and I'm here helping you make smarter investments for Lake Game Gains. Remember, anything you see in any of my videos is not to be taken as financial advice. Do your own research and own your own decisions. It's been a long time since I've brought up Ada Ninjas on this channel, but Ada Ninjas was the first NFT project on Cardano that I minted multiple NFTs for. And this may be just me, but because of the price volatility of Ada Ninjas, I have made a little bit of money with this project. But this one is not one that measures their success in terms of what the price reads. This project is growing, developing, and innovating despite what the floor price says. Now, in the general NFT community, when it comes to the whole values of utility or art, if you've seen my videos before, you know that I'm very much in the utility side. I just think that when it comes to evaluating a project according to their fundamentals, they have to be objective. And when it comes to art, it can be very subjective and it's not my forte to criticize based on that subjectivity. That painting is bad. That being said, Ada Ninjas is my only exception for projects that I put money into purely because of the art. And let me tell you why. My philosophy on art is that it should not be measured according to how pretty or how cool it looks. My connection with the art has very little to do with the aesthetics of it. In fact, the greatest works of art in the history of humanity are not the greatest merely because they looked good. It's because they communicated a real message that impacted the world in a different way. They captured human experience so that we might learn from it and enrich our lives to experience the world differently than we otherwise would have. Ada Ninjas carries on a tradition of art that is so rich in culture and carries along a variety of messages with it. I grew up with anime stories like Dragon Ball Z and Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon and Inuyasha and all that stuff. Every one of these stories communicates a narrative that we as individuals are far more capable and powerful to be able to impact the world in a greater way than we give ourselves credit for. Ada Ninjas has done a fantastic job at capturing different styles of anime that we've seen throughout history, and if that's not dedication to art, I don't know what is. And all this is not to say that Ada Ninjas is completely devoid of utility, but a lot of the utility is geared toward pouring back into the art of the project and the community. Now, let's talk about some of the developments that this project is bringing to the table and why this next couple of months is going to be really exciting for Ada Ninjas holders. Almost two weeks ago now, Ada Ninjas announced their development of the Ninjas token. This feature is something that this team has been working on for quite a while in the background because they've been wanting to work out all of the kinks in the area of legal compliance, utilities, and tokenomics. Which, by the way, it's looking like the Ninja's total supply is going to be quite a low overall supply, which often translates to a higher demand of the project. But we'll get to that in just a minute. The utility of this token has been painfully teased by the team, so I don't know what the utility is going to be for this project, but we do know what the utilities are not going to be for this token. The use case of this token will not be to buy merch, buy additional NFTs, or to transform your existing NFTs. These things are actually important to note, because if you're paying attention to the greater CNFT space, these utilities that they've ruled out are things that every NFT project does. So if Ada Ninjas is just ruling these utilities out and taking them off of the table, we might be able to expect some really unique and well-thought utilities that we can't see anywhere else in the NFT space. At this point, I guess it's really just speculation, but I don't think I've ever been so excited to hear what utilities will not be brought to a project. Okay, so as far as token supply goes, 
I don't have any detailed information on that yet. But we do know that all Ada Ninja's holders will be receiving an airdrop of Ada Ninja's tokens based on how many you have and what types you have. I've put together a little bit of a visual here for you. If you've got a season one NFT, you'll get 10 ninjas per NFT that you hold. Season two will get five, and season three will get 2.5. In order to obtain more of these ninjas tokens, you will be able to stake your Ada Ninjas NFT, and you'll get a staking reward based on what NFTs that you hold. And it is looking different than the airdrop. Here's that, that visual again, so you can look at what the staking rewards will be. It is based on these reward outputs, the amount that they're giving you. It's based on that that makes me think that it's going to be a very low supply for all of the ninjas tokens in circulation. If you compare this to just about every other NFT project that develops their own token, they more often airdrop hundreds or thousands of tokens to their NFT holders out of the millions or billions of the overall supply. Again, this is just speculation, but based on these indicators, we can pretty reliably see that the token supply for ninjas is likely going to be vastly less than any other competing NFT projects. Let's go ahead and move on to one of the more impressive things that this project has done, or for that matter, any NFT project has done. And that is the release of the Ada Ninjas Armor Origins physical manga comics. Keep in mind that this is not just any old NFT merch line that every other project comes out with. This is a decentralized product that has been built by the community based on Ada Ninja's voters. If you're not familiar, the Ada Ninja's stories are developed based on the choices of Ada Ninja's holders, and they are developed based on how the community wants to take the story, which makes this the very first truly decentralized physical product to ever come out of the Cardano ecosystem. This is just the first of many major milestones that this project is going to come out with based on their community-driven stories. This project really is innovating the space because physical manga comics is not the only decentralized product that they are coming out with. Ada Ninjas has also come out with original music that you can purchase as NFTs, but they're also streaming on Spotify and YouTube, and the community helped write a lot of the lyrics to make these songs possible. And these various forms of media are going out there into the world to spread awareness of the greater NFT space here on Cardano. It's truly revolutionary what they're doing here. If any of this ability to participate in a new, innovative, decentralized art form, there's an opportunity coming up for you to be able to obtain voting rights by minting one of their Season 3 NFTs of the Daisuke Clan. With one of these NFTs, or one of their Season 1 or Season 2 NFTs, you can go and verify yourself on their Discord channel and join the battle to determine the direction of Stories of Nineveh. The Daisuke Ninja's NFT Mint is taking place May 21st at 8pm UTC, and the mint price will be 60 ADA, or if you're buying it from a wallet that holds a Season 1 or Season 2 Ada Ninja's NFT, you'll get a 20% cashback deal on that. This particular Ada Ninja's NFT Mint is going to be different than what we've seen in Season 1 and Season 2, because this particular Season 3 NFT is going to come along with an animation and an audio track that you will be able to download so that you can use those different files however you would like to. I have a lot of things that I want to cover about this project, but a lot of those details have yet to be released. So. I'll have to do a follow-up video. We'll get a heck of a lot more information more towards the end of this month. So be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you don't miss any of my Ada Ninjas or Cardano-based content every Tuesday and Thursday. As always, remember never to invest more than what you can afford to lose, learn as much as you can about this space, and play for the late game. Thanks so much for watching.